Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We'll be talking about OCD and two related hormones, dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine is the reward-seeking um, hormone. So in OCD, dopamine level and serotonin levels get in raised. And medication is given to control the imbalances created by the raised levels. Dopamine can be increased by taking certain foods and the dopamine level can be uh, improved. Now there are two neural networks in our brain which are driven or regulated by either dopamine or serotonin. Dopamine is basically excitatory in nature. That is, it promotes excitement. Dopamine is good, but when it is related with stress, then it becomes harmful. And the stress-related hormone is cortisol. Cortisol is a steroid hormone that has a very important role in helping the body respond to stress. Stress works on prefrontal cortex. If it becomes dysfunctional, you can't see the future. Then you start living in the moment. Placing the forehead on prayer mat is helpful in reducing stress. When heavy stress is there, then addiction and depression occur. One due to dopamine and the other due to serotonin deficiency. So stress must be eliminated from the system. And when we talk about stress and continued stress, we mean fear. So fear has to be replaced with love. Dopamine, the natural way, and dopamine through medication. Dopamine makes one feel good. It is the learning neurotransmitter. It is reward-based. Reward is good, but as we discussed earlier, reward plus stress is not good. Serotonin represents the spiritual growth element in man, and serotonin is inhibitory in nature. Dopamine is based on reward and wants more. Serotonin is based on contentment. So balance between dopamine and serotonin is there in a normal functioning human being because both are necessary in a balanced way. Dopamine for worldly success or motivation, serotonin for spiritual growth, that is inspiration. So two things have to be taken into account. Dopamine represents motivation, serotonin represents inspiration. Man shall not live by bread alone. That is the spiritual side of man has to be nurtured and it has to be taken care of. Now there are differences between dopamine and serotonin. As we said earlier, that reward and player, that is good. This is part of dopamine. But player and happiness are different. Serotonin promotes contentment and happiness. Dopamine promotes reward and pleasure. One is short-lived, the other is long-lived. Player is short-lived, happiness is long-term. Player is taken, like you take coke, you take wine, you gamble, you do things of that sort. It is taken, happiness is in giving. Player is normally achieved alone. Happiness is in groups. Dopamine, that is with substances and happiness independent of substances by doing good deeds. So it is basically a game of motivation versus inspiration. Both in their right are good. Motivation is good for survival. Inspiration is for spiritual growth and for happiness. So, to conclude, the prefrontal cortex is very important, as I said earlier. If one places uh, the forehead 
on the prayer mat for a long period of time, imbalances are restored. Dopamine and cortisol, that is stress-related hormone, lead to nerve death. Reward is good, but reward plus stress is not good. Addiction and depression occur, one because of dopamine and the other because of lack of serotonin. So depression is because of lack of serotonin and one can say that addiction is because of an excess of dopamine. So these are two different pathways, these are two different neural transmitters and one has to keep the balance there in the body in order to avoid OCD. In OCD, fear becomes a dominant element. Fear has to be replaced by love. And in this regard, counseling can help, diet can help, good habits can help, many other things can be helpful. So, thank you very much. God bless you.